Hi, I'm Bukola. Hi, I'm Amara, and welcome to Love and Make at Home. Today, we're gonna to bring you the experience of candle making into your home. We are a DIY do-it-yourself workshop located in Houston, Texas at 2516 Times Boulevard in Rice Village. We'd love for you to join us for our in-person workshops, but today, we're gonna to teach you how to do the same thing at home. So we have all of the ingredients and supplies to make your candles, and Bukola is gonna teach us how to put it all together, and she's gonna teach us what the finished product looks like. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Amara. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so today we're making soy candles. We're going to go over our kit and go over all the supplies. We're using soy wax, so you have two bags of wax each for each of your container. Now, soy wax is a naturally sourced vegetable-based wax made out of soybeans oil. We like it because it is more environment friendly and also it burns cleaner. You have your two um, pre-selected um, vessels that you've chosen for your candles. We have a pot pot. This is what we're going to melt the wax in. Okay, we have our wicks. So you have two wicks. Now, this wick, we've actually pre-selected this wick for the container that, you're, that we're using. And the same thing for the container that you're going to use for your candle. Now we pick the wick according to the type of wax we're using and also according to the diameter of the container that we're using. An importantly sized, uh, I mean a correctly sized wick is important because this is really what allows your candle to not turn on. So we want your candle to burn all the way to the edge and all the way down. Okay, you have your two fragrance oils. Again, one for each of the candles. So we have the glue dot. We're going to use this to secure the wick to the bottom of the vessels. We have our wick bar. It, um, we, we use this to um, center the wick while the candle cools. We have the warning labels. After you make your candles, you're gonna come up with a nice fun names for your candles. So you're going to use and label your uh, container using this. We have our warning labels here. So this gives some um, safety tips and also some burning instructions. Popsicle stick or any stirring rod, we use this to mix the oil into the wax. Thermometer to monitor the temperature of the wax, again during melting and also during the cooling process. Okay, and then um, insert your thermometer. Make sure the tip of your thermometer is not touching the bottom of the pot. So again, we're going to use what we call a double boiler method to melt. Now, you're going to put about one to two inches of water in your pot, and we're going to bring the water to a boil. Once the water is boiling, then we're going to insert our pot with the wax inside of it. So we're going to let the wax melt completely before we take it off of the double boiler. And that's about, um, the temp should be around 180, 185. Okay, so once the wax is completely melted, take it out of the double boiler. So you're gonna place it on a nice, on a cooling pad. And we're waiting for the temp to go down. We're waiting for the temp to go down to 160. That's when we're going to add our fragrance oil. You're gonna add one fragrance oil from the from your two. So today we're using Spa. This is one of my favorite oil at the studio. It smells really, really good. So at 160, I just want you to pour your fragrance oil into the wax. Okay? And we're going to mix the oil into the wax for two minutes. This is a very important step, so don't skip this part, guys. So we're going to mix it for two minutes. We want the oil to mix well into the wax. Okay, so after two minutes, we're going to wait until the candle cools to 110 degree Fahrenheit, and that's gonna be our pouring temperature. That's when we're going to pour the wax into our container. Okay. So now that we're waiting for the wax to cool to so the one, 110 degree Fahrenheit, let's prepare our vessel. I want you to grab your container. Okay. We're going to grab a wick and a glue dot. So what, you, what I want you to do is I want you to take your wick and place it on top of your glue dot and you're going to peel it off. 
Okay, I'm gonna peel it, peel it off. Now, make sure your container is nice, it's um, clean, okay? You can wipe it, um, just wipe the inside with a nice, quickly with a cloth. I want you to place that glue dot in the middle of the vessel and use your finger to press down on it until it's nice and secure, okay? Nice and secure. Grab your warning label. I want you to peel it off and you're gonna place it on the bottom of the jar. Perfect. Okay. Now, a wig bar, we're gonna let's kind of place it until we're ready to pour. Now remember we're going to pour at 110 degrees Fahrenheit. You can just go ahead and label as well. So you're gonna come up with a nice name for your candle. Okay, so the temp is at 110. Let's see. Yes, it is at 110. So you're going to pour nice and slowly. Perfect. And again, you don't need to fill it all the way to um, the top of your vessel. And then use your wig bar or clothes pin to center the wig we want it to be nice and center and this is your candle guys so now we're going to allow this to cool overnight and then we'll be ready to trim the wig after our candle cools we're going to trim the wig to about one fourth of an inch perfect and this is your candle. Smells so, so good, guys. Congratulations on making your first candle. Now, before, I know you're really anxious to burn your candle, but we want you to wait at least three days um, to enjoy your candle. And the reason for this is because the candle needs time to cure. Um, the longer you wait, the better your candle is going to smell. In your kit, you're going to have an instruction card that tells you everything you need to know about how to burn your candles. Thank you for joining us for this candle workshop. We hope to have you at the studio soon, either for an open workshop or for your uh, own private event or parties. Thank you.